So today what we're doing is the Yogi Berra challenge. I've been dreading this one for so long. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've had this one written down on like my, my list of rebuild ideas since the very first day MLB The Show started. And I've been dreading it. 10 World Series rings. I don't know if that's possible for me. I can barely win one, but that is what we're doing today. 10 World Series in 15 years. I think Yogi Berra actually played 18, but we're gonna we're just gonna shorten it. 15 years is long enough. 10 World Series rings in 15 years. Can we do it? Probably not, but I'm gonna try. So I hope you do enjoy it. Of course, if you do it, that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And of course, in the comment section, do you think something like this is possible? Like, obviously, Tom Brady got 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 a couple rings, right? Bill Russell's done it. You know, I think he has 11 rings. And, you know, you got Yogi Berra with 10. Derek Jeter had, I think, five. Do you think someone in the sports world can come up with a crazy number of rings like this again? Is it possible? I don't know, man. I feel like with how competitive teams are getting nowadays, spending money, trying to get good, I don't, I don't know if it is. It's still pretty impressive. 10 rings in like 18 years? The dude killed it. I think, I think he had three. Ooh, he added a couple more. I think three more as a manager. So Yogi Berra was killing it. So today, like I said, 10 World Series rings in 15 years. Let's get into it. All right, we're going to shake it up. We're going to do a fantasy draft. Three, two, one, boom. <laughs> we're going to be the Yankees. How fitting. All right. So I would go with the Yankees in real life, but I feel like, yes, the team is stacked and I kind of want to shake it up. So we're going to have... Oh, are we going to have budgets on for 15 years? Let's test it out. Let's see what happens. We're going to turn contracts off. Fantasy draft is on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just boom. There we go. Oh, we had the third pick. We got Mike Trout. Oh, 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 what do we got going on here? Okay. Pitching definitely, definitely need, we, we need to work on this, right? Like that's, that's not good enough. Uh, any other prospects to kind of look forward to? No. Carlos Carrasco for a season might be okay, but I don't know about the second year. Bullpen, we got Nick Anderson, Dominic Leone. Okay, I like that. Phil Matten, Mayton could be pretty decent. Tyler Wells is decent for like a season. Jake McGee is good for like a season, but still need to bolster up the pitching as a whole. That's that's pretty bad. J uh, we got Zunino, that's good. Hosmer, I need a first baseman. We do have G-Man though. So we might be okay for the season. Nolan Gorman for the future for sure. He's gonna he, he can't hop in just yet. But we at least have a second baseman come like season four, season three. Ahmed Rosario, I'll give him a shot. Maybe give him a season or two to figure things out, see how he does. Left field, Kirilov, not bad. Trout and Nimmo. Oh, the MLB gods are in my favor today. And then Kyle Tucker. Ooh, with Solaire. Did I see Solaire in the team too? Ooh. Give me some more. Oh, man. They're they're treating me nice today. All right. So let's get rid of Adam Eaton. Since we do have to worry about budgets a little bit, I do want to get some starting. Right away, let's just get some better starters. Who is going to give us just a – like, we're, I'm going to have to plan. Like, I got to get prospects. I got to get current good players. I got to get players who can stay with the team for an extended period of time. And I also have to worry about the budget. So that's another thing I got to worry about too. So let's make, let's be quick. It's 15 seasons. We're already going to be here long enough. So let's go with, you know what? We saw him right away. Let's go with Alcantara. He's good for multiple seasons. There's no reason not to get him. I will give you Shogo Akiyama. Ah, that doesn't get the deal done. What about, what about Jacob Amaya? That doesn't get the deal done either. Do any of these guys? I don't want to give up Brady House. Um, Royce Lewis, I'll give up, I'll give up Royce Lewis, uh, I feel like we can, we can be okay with that, so there's that, we've got two decent starters, can I get something for Carrasco though, because I just feel like he's not going to be good after this season, I, I'll take Sevi, um, especially if it's a super cheap deal, boom, there we go, Sevi's in the team, so there's that, six though, I kind of want him as a five, hmm, Let's see what we can get here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's keep moving forward. Ooh, Luis Garcia. That's going to be difficult to make happen. So I've seen him do well for a season. I will give you. Oh, we had so many catchers. Let's give you Ben Boom. There it is. There's another pitcher for us. One, two, three, four. I want one more. 
one more. Can I get someone just for a season? That way we can kind of plan and be okay. Unless I can do like something crazy and make a crazy trade happen. So I don't think it's going to happen though. So I might as well just go out and get whoever I can. And let's go with... Yo, Cal Quantrill was kind of nice when we used him a few a few days ago. So let's go like that. Let's get Cal Quantrill in. And I feel like that's pretty good. So one, two, three, four, five. I really don't want to use him. I kind of want him to develop a little more. And then we might... Do we have somebody with some stamina over here? We don't. All right. Well, hmm. Oh, let's get rid of Hosmer's contract. Like, I got to come up with a team. That's, oh, man. You guys are probably thinking I'm crazy for doing this trade right here. Trust me. This guy is nutty. This guy is nutty. He's so good for a couple seasons. Connor Joe at first. That's good. Second base, we can let Brad Miller play there. Third base, a little bit of a question mark. Do, what happened to our, why don't we have, like, anybody anywhere? You know what I mean? I feel like we're missing a lot of offense. Even though we have like a decent offense at the same time. Um I might have to trade some of these prospects. Make this happen to get get anything good. Mm, I'm trying to keep this quick. I'm trying to keep this quick. Third base. The contract's kind of big. Mmm, I don't like that. Let's go with. I'm not gonna be able to get Devers. I'm not gonna be able to get Biggio, I don't think. Luis Urias? Is that is that someone I can get? You want Austin Dean? No, they that's not gonna make the deal done. Okay, so I gotta find somebody. This is tough because I I know there's somebody out there that I could get that's gonna be good, but who who is it? Austin Riley? Too difficult to trade for. Um, actually, you know what? Give me give me him back. I'll give you him and let's give you him. We'll take Matt Duffy in and let me see what we're wor we're working with right now. All right, Kyle Cody for Brett Anderson. I want a long reliever. And then I feel like looking at our lineup real quick, we have, like, he looks okay. He looks meh. Trout's good. Tucker's good. Connor Joe will be good for a season or two. Kirloff, Duffy, Zunino, and Nimmo. I feel like third base and second base are kind of a big glaring issue. Plus, the bench is missing a couple players. Is there anybody here that I could bring in? I know I'm going to call up Solaire. So there's one player. What do I need? three players dang let's see here what do we got going on i also have an extra catcher that i don't need that's kind of an issue um man there's really nothing good here huh um do i give let's see can i get him super cheap for a season i can't all right so we'll call up miggy for a year it sounds so dumb right to call up miggy for a year but he, he might help us we'll, we'll send him down we also do have g-man at the same time but I'm gonna I'm gonna start making some trades. We got Tristan Casas, doesn't normally do well. So like I'm I'm looking to get something good in in the meantime. Someone that can help us out a little bit more. And let's see here, what's Patrick Wisdom's situation? Mm, nope, not happening. <laughs> um, Edwin Rios. I'll give Edwin Rios a shot. Let's uh let's give them Curtis Taylor. Boom, there it is. All right, I feel like that's enough trades for season one. I feel like it is. So Brett Anderson's there. Bullpen's looking kind of shaky, not gonna lie. Not ideal, but hopefully it works out. Starting rotation's not bad. Honestly, I'm a little worried. Not gonna not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I feel like we're man, I just feel like it's not ideal. Not ideal at all. I just don't feel like this is a good enough team. I really don't. I don't. That's not good. That's just, that's just not good. We'll call up G-Man Choi. <laughs> 25. And then I got to call up Solaire. And we should be good now. I just I just don't feel like this is a good enough team. I really don't. That's not a good feeling. We're going to test it out. It might be good enough. It really might be. We're ranked 10th. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. We've got some money in the budget too. So maybe if it doesn't go well, we just say season one was bad. We've got 14 more years to go. Let's see how it goes season one. So the first season went well, 92 and 70. Not ideal, but like if we're the winner of the, or we're for, holy cow, if we're facing the winner of the wild card, at least something's going right. So that's good to know. 
and looking at the rest of the league only the diamondbacks were better than us and the angels tied with us so that's good to see league leaders i don't know what i just saw but let's worry about these we got a gold glove a hank aaron award and a silver slugger jd martinez went in mvp xander bogarts okay cy young interesting nimmo and winker batting title reliever of the year devin williams on the cardinals ew that looks weird gallegos with the red Sox. And then you got Wander with the Angels, along with Jonathan India with the Brewers. Wow, a lot of switching up in the NL Central. Quickly with our squad. Let's see, we got Brett Anderson, who was really good, really good. Uh, he didn't pitch at all. Wells was really good. Phil Matten, or Maton, Dominic Leone. Ah, Chris Russell was kind of disappointing. McGee, and then Nick Anderson was fantastic. Looking at our starters, Severino was garbage. Wow, okay. Alcantara was good. Mali was good. Or Mali. Is it Mali? Sixto was decent. Okay, so we gotta we gotta go like that. That was that was rough. Okay, looking at our starters. Okay, so someone a couple players got sent down. Mickey got sent down. No. Brad Miller did as well. And Solaire. Alright, we're gonna have to start focusing a little bit more on contact. I feel like that's something that we're gonna need for next year for sure. Matt Duffy. It was okay Connor Joe like I said he was gonna be good and his potential went up even better this is our first baseman for the future and he's cheap Mike Trout was very good make uh, makes sense that he went down because he was over 100 on some attributes Kyle Tucker was fantastic Ahmed Rosario was okay I'll probably give him one more season because it's arbitration for that year anyways Kirilov improves we just got to be patient with him Edwin Rios I'll give him a season or two we'll see what happens Zunino yikes um and then nimbo was unbelievable love to see those those numbers all right kansas city please lose <laughs> just lose to us please six up i can't let cal quantro pitch this game i need alcantara on the mound all right we're we're going we're moving things are looking good so let's just move everybody up a day flip those two and we're good to go we win we lose. We lose. Ah, that was a game we needed to win for sure. Sixto, give us the win. He does. Please. All right, we're advancing into the World Series versus the Diamondbacks, who had the other good record. So let's quickly take a look at their their uh, squad. Offensively, I mean, and Mundo Sosa have a postseason so far. You know what? Maybe their pitching's nutty. I saw Bueller on their team, so I know that's going to be good. Freed, Yanoa. Okay. And then their bullpen looks pretty good looks pretty good so that's going to be the the tough part here so calendar wise Sevy's up when did he pitch last a few days ago we might actually just go Sevy, throw him here sixto and then cal quantrill is doing really well i might flip him in sixto all right here we go we lose the first two not ideal we lose oh man really man don't not like that so one world series appearance but no world series win dang okay i didn't like zunino i think we can do better duffy i might go like one more year what does he want five mil we, we do have some money to play with though all right let's go let's go two year club option you'll be part of the bullpen i'll give you six mil brad miller let's, what does he want for a season six mils too much especially for the production he put up one year i'll put i can't guarantee he's gonna be part of the rotation but we do that and then we let everybody else go so those are our offers there i've already changed the staff up it should be good to go 40 man i don't know i don't honestly if any of those guys go i think we'll be okay arbitration i think everybody except for g-man he's just going down he's probably not gonna hold it i'll keep give i'll probably give him another shot and maybe him i don't know but probably everybody contracts probably everybody unless it's like a guy I just feel like someone kind of like i don't know let's see who do we got going on here that we could probably get rid of someone like oh maybe actually maybe everybody for once maybe i bring back everybody and i feel like bullpen we could use a couple guys S leave the starters alone i'm a little hesitant about sevi and then s here what do we got going on here not much to be honest maybe chris bryant comes in helps us out for a couple years if we could get that deal done i wouldn't mind correa either that wouldn't be bad but i feel like let's be smart about our money this year all right let's start season two with the trade 
of course dog has to shake as soon as i start recording and all right i remember what the trade was i wanted to trade jake mcgee and the thing is because he's already falling off he's 35 years old i also threw in luis medina and we're gonna go and get a reliever i feel like a reliever is pretty important to this team i feel like that's something that we were kind of missing last season and where did that individual go can't find him class a i'm gonna try class a i'm gonna see how well he does how long he can do well for and you can see we've still got quite a bit of money to play with i'm gonna start adding players to this team that i think are gonna help us out not just this year but maybe for a couple seasons going forward Ah oh, man jankowski becomes a free agent this year i'm okay with that let's throw in let's see here let's go with someone that's a little bit older like maybe someone like david parkinson we'll go like that jankowski's in the team that helps us out a little bit there and now you guys can kind of see i made a couple signings but at the same time it wasn't anything too crazy so i think we're i think we're pretty good i think we're actually doing pretty well um i didn't show you any of the draft picks from last season because it was pretty bad it was really bad and um you guys can kind of see what we're working with now so we've we brought in vr one year deal six and a half mil jankowski through the trade carlos perez schwindel frank the tank is in the team for a two-year club option he wasn't great last year but maybe as a bench bat he can do pretty well and i think that was really about it you know chris bryant's coming too i guess that's kind of a big thing 10 mil three-year option deal he wasn't fantastic last season but maybe he can turn it around playing third base for us i feel like he should do pretty well nolan gorman obviously is still down brett Beatty's still down so we've got a couple youngsters to look forward to in the future jacob amaya is another one that i kind of got my eye on and then pitching wise chris bubik's probably the big one but i'm not i'm not kind of i'm not really sold on him not yet at least maybe maybe after the season he's closer to 80 overall maybe then we can make him the long reliever I think that's it i feel like that's that's kind of everything i need to add a new scout which i need Ooh, i lost two of my scouts so i need a central scout who i'm gonna do there and then an international scout let's go with let's go with this one we'll go there so there it is that's our team not too much different but i feel like we're we're kind of playing the long haul game here because I, I don't know. I just I just feel like we could we just have a team that is still can win now But if I don't win like season one season two, I still feel like we can do a pretty good job If I can at least win like seven World Series, I'll be happy ten is gonna be absurd But seven I feel like we'd be I'd be pretty happy with so yeah, that's the team for the season Let's get into it. So, you know, how I said I really wasn't like a hundred percent confident in winning this year Yeah, that's a pretty good team 109 and 53 we should win like, this is a season we should win, 100%. We're ranked first. We've got a crazy good team. Yeah, the defense and speed sucks, but, like, we we got a team. 109 wins. Are you kidding me? Cal Quantrill have a season. All pitchers have a season. Brandon Nimmo, average, standard stuff, but delivery man of the year. Silver Slugger. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Ooh, I, those are some names that I normally don't see up there with the MVP race. That's kind of cool to see some new names there. DeGrom, Cy Young. Bregman batting title Cy Young we've got DeGrom Dylan Cease was the other side Sevy, Sevy, have a bounce back season of course it is his contract year so that's something we're gonna have to keep an eye on let's see what else we got going on here okay some interesting names there for rookie of the year so all right so they sent down Brett Anderson was he not good this year almost identical to last year but it looks like he's going down in rating so we'll definitely look like let him go after this year what about the whole bullpen situation? All right, not too bad, not too bad. Wells was good once again. He's still holding his rating fairly well. Dominic Leone, we've got Voth, who was a Rule 5 pick. I did forget to mention that he was a Rule 5 pick. Same thing with Tommy Doyle. He was a Rule 5 pick. And then we have Class A, Phil Matten, or Maton, and Nick Anderson, who was unbelievable. Unreal. And then you look at our starters. Let's see what we got going on here. Whoo, Tyler Maley. Severino was good. Sixto was good. Oh, oh boy. Talk about a season. Talk. I'm, I'm just going to leave it just like that. And then looking at our lineup, Travis Jankowski was sent down. He was pretty bad. Ahmed Rosario was sent down. He was pretty bad. I could see why they sent him down. Good Lord. That's our starting shortstop, man. We'll, we'll rock with Jonathan VR. 
actually that's that's a dumb idea we got to get a med rosario back in the team what am i thinking we can't we can't he was our he's a major league shortstop like there's no reason to send him down we'll send down nolan gorman call him back up maybe a med rosario only versus lefties yeah let's do that we'll just have him versus lefties so we'll throw him here and we throw him here so bench frank schwindel not too bad is he gonna hold his rating maybe but for like 900k i'll probably keep him on the bench Kirloff was better. I probably should have had him in AAA this season just to give him like an everyday situation because 57 games is kind of wasting him. And I feel like I should I should have at least had him in AAA. VR wasn't too bad. Six and a half mil. Edwin Rios kind of let me down, but for two mil, I think that's a pretty cheap deal. And then we take a look at our starters. We got Nimmo with the 400 on base percentage. I got to sign him. I should have extended his contract this year while it's probably a little bit cheaper. Ahmed Rosario is pretty bad. I'm going to look for a new shortstop. Trout, unbelievable. Chris Bryant, bounce back year. Kyle Tucker was fantastic. We've got Pozo, who, meh, we'll see. He's, he's improving, and he's only 25. Team control for a few more years. Might as well give him another shot. Connor Joe, still doing fairly well. And we've got him for two years for a couple more, or two million for a couple more years. Overall, I, I like what I'm seeing. I'm like I'm liking what I'm seeing. Let's get into the postseason. I'm going to get eliminated first round. I already know it. And this is what happens. Uh, Cal Quantro was good. Let's give it to him. Keep it going. Team, let's go. Come on. Win, win, win. Please don't lose. <sighs> 0 for 2, man. 0 for 2. The Indians defeat the Dodgers. I feel like they've changed something where the Indians are like programmed to do better. As Pujols gets inducted as a Cub, that looks so wrong. But... I just, I just feel like they did because I've been seeing the Indians get into the, the postseason more and more and more. And I just feel like that, it, that's like something like that, like randomly started happening. Like it, it wasn't something that happened recently and now, or like all year. And then all of a sudden within the last month, I'm starting to see the Indians make the world series more. Is it, is that, is that weird? I feel like that's kind of weird. I feel like that's something that's like kind of been <laughs> programmed in. Maybe like something's changed. I don't know. Four years. That'll make him 34. Club option. But I feel like I could get three good years out of him. And then the fourth year, we can decide if we want him or not. Yeah, let's do that. 20 mil is a lot of money. VR was pretty solid this year. He wants 8 mil. I'll hold off on that. And then Sevi's going to want a lot. He's 28. What about like three years? We'll do a club option for this one as well. And then let's front load this one so that later on, if we need to start adding more players to the team to get better, we can afford it because his contract will be a little bit cheaper then. So yeah, there we go. Those are our, our moves for right now. And let's move through this quickly. Um, Hunter Bishop, I don't want to lose. Jordy Barley, I don't want to lose. Let me show you our draft picks for this season. We have, who did I sign? We have Nieto who was a second round pick look at him he looks so good shortstop looks fantastic we've got padilla b potential and then these two guys had like low 70 potential but these first two picks pretty solid so looking at this team i would love to add actually i'm gonna leave the starting five the same i still feel like we could maybe use a bullpen arm but i'm not gonna like try to sign someone super expensive if need be catcher we're good with pozo first base we've got connor joe who's putting up good numbers Second base, we could we could give that to Nolan Gorman now. Third base, we've got Chris Bryant. Shortstop, definitely an area I want to try to get a shortstop. I might not offer arbitration to Ahmed Rosario. I maybe give Dansby Swanson a shot. Ew, he looks pretty bad. But I feel like I can get him cheap. And I feel like I can get a decent deal here. Maybe. I'm going to think about it. We could also go Trey Turner, but he never does well in franchise anymore. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see our options. But I feel like we've got a we've got a team forming. We just gotta win a World Series. All right, I'm not sold on a Rosario. I'm gonna throw in Jacob Amaya as well, since we do have that new draft pick of Nieto that came in for Glaber Torres. We'll see how it goes. I'm just kind of picking up pieces that I think can help us win right now. And then realistically, if it works out, great. If it doesn't, I, we'll be fine. Like what I'm looking for are players that can help us out now. And if they start to get bad, then we have replacements also like i'm trying to stockpile young players and let them develop uh i'm kind of lacking in the outfield position and starter i need a little bit better prospects there but overall i feel like we've got a pretty good team starting to form 
Kirloff, I moved him to first base, and then I'm going to call him up next year. We've got a couple years on his uh, option. I don't really like doing this, but I just feel like let's get him a full season, get these hitting stats up into the 70s, and then that's our first baseman to take over once Connor Joe starts to fall off, or we could just bring him up next year and let Connor Joe be our backup. So looking at the team, I mean, look at this. This is, this is beautiful. Glaber comes in, helps us out a lot. Our starting pitching was fantastic last year. Same thing with the bullpen. So I left this alone, left it alone, didn't change anything. I did sign Dansby Swanson. Su uh, it wasn't super cheap, but for two years, club option, if it doesn't do well, Nolan Gorman comes up next year, takes over, which that's kind of what I was thinking anyways. The thing is, you look at his hitting stats, I just want him at least the righties. I want those in the 70s because otherwise I think he's really going to struggle. It's going to hurt his development and then we're in trouble. So quickly looking at the depth chart so you can get an idea of what it looks like for the next couple seasons. There it is. I feel like we've, I mean, look at that. We've got some young guys starting to come in. We've got some of our, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. I think we've, we have a really good team. Budget's healthy, 23 mil. So yeah, I, I, I like the team. I actually do. I really do. I forgot to mention, I extended Tyler Maley's contract for a few seasons as well as, actually, no, just him. Just him. There it is. That's the squad. I'm going to leave it there. We should win a World Series, please. I need one. It's starting to get a little little bit of a crunch time since we haven't won yet. All right, so the season, 105-57. and 57. Fantastic, won the division by 27 games. Um, Yeah, I mean, we'll leave it there. Awards, what do we got going on here? Trout, fantastic, love it. Why am I not getting any notifications? Did I accidentally like skip through them and I just completely <laughs> forgot about it? So Trout... We got Adamus. Adamus was actually a shortstop that I considered looking at instead of Glaber, and he's mashing. So, Sale, Wheeler. We've got Nico Horner. Really? Nico Horner. Interesting. Interesting. Craig Kimbrell, Bednar, Brandon Marsh wins Rookie of the Year, along with Jaron Duran. And when we take a look at our team, what do we got going on here? So, Schwindel was decent. Kirloff got called up for a little bit. Struggled a little bit. I mean, he's got the power numbers, what I like to see. Ruiz, I signed him. He actually looks like he could be decent. Could be decent. I like it. Taylor Walls was signed as a backup, and then Brian Goodwin. What else? We I totally skipped Perez, but it's a backup catcher. Do you think he did well? He did not. Uh, Brandon Nimmo, really solid season. Like to see that. We've got Connor Joe. Ooh, maybe it is time for Kirloff to come up next year full time. Mike Trout was unbelievable. Edwin Rios. Potential and overall went up, but like numbers really didn't change much. I don't know. We'll think about bringing him back. I'm not 100% sold on him. One more year for Chris Bryant, and he's killing it. Glaber had a good season. Dansby Swanson improved. I'm going to keep my eye on it. I'm going to keep my eye on it because it is a club option, his deal. I'm just not 100% sold on it. Like, it was a really good year, but is it worth 16 mil? I don't know about that one. Next up, our pitching. How are we looking over here? So someone got sent down in the lineup. Who was sent down? It was... Am I blind? Or did two pitchers get sent down? Let's see here. No, who am I... Am I like... Because someone got sent down. Who am I... Who am I missing? Did somebody just like... Like really fall off? I don't... I don't see any... I don't know. Maybe... I, I mean, I'm just not noticing it. I don't know. Sammy Long got called up. We got Chris here. Wasn't as good again. I need I need better from him. I need better from him. Tyler Wells looks like he's kind of hit his peak. Not going to really produce anymore. Like, he didn't have a bad season, but I just think we've kind of seen the best of him. Dominic Leone, same thing. We've got Austin Voth improved. Like to see that. Phil Matten, Maton, whatever it is. Class A was great. And so was Nick Anderson. So we got to make sure we keep these two guys for as long as possible. Alcantara was unbelievable. Severino was good. Good. I would say good. Really. I would I was expecting more. Sixto, unbelievable. Mailey, unbelievable. Cal Quantrill, you know what? I'll take it. So I'm thinking we flip these two and then we go Severino in the four just based off the season. And uh yeah, let's get into it. Postseason time. That's why. I didn't get the notification yet. So now I th I thought I did. I thought I did. So there you go. You can see the, the league leaders and everything. I guess I just didn't sim far enough. There it is. So gold glove, a Hank Aaron award, an MVP, and a silver slugger. So yeah, basically the same exact thing. It's just, whoops, I didn't sim a day 
far enough. Which makes sense. Now I know why I wasn't seeing like the notifications or anything. That's my fault. All right, so we're taking on the Indians. We don't have all four lineups. So then someone was sent down. Who? Who am I missing here? Who am I missing? Let's see. Connor Joe. They sent down Connor Joe. Interesting. Let's send down Gorman instead. Why would they change? You see that? You see how they changed my lineup like that? They also sent down somebody else. Goodwin. Oh, why? Why? Why would you change the lineup like that? Did they change the pitching staff then too? They did. Jose Ruiz is up instead of... Let's see here. Tyler Wells. I mean, okay, we can give Jose Ruiz a shot. I don't necessarily like it, but we could try it out. We'll see how it goes. Um, versus lefties. Let's go. Let's go Kirilov here. I mean, we could also make uh, Edwin Rios a first baseman if things don't work out with Kirilov for them. But let's see how this goes. We sweep them. Awesome. Love to see that. So Severino, no shot. We're going to go like this because those were our best pitchers. And now we take on the Tigers. We sweep them. And now we're going to be taking on the Cubs. Ooh, like it. Okay. Boom. Boom. Uh, there and there. I think that's correct. Yeah, Alcantara, game one. We lose. Win that one. Lose. Please don't lose this. I can't lose two straight wor or two World Series. I can't. All right, come on. Next two games. <laughs> come on. You got to be kidding me, MLB. Really? 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 The bullpen lost three games for us? You can't. You that's two World Series now that I've lost. That's... Oh, postseason time. I, I, that's two World Series now I've lost. Those are gonna, those are gonna be... Those are kind of big. I kind of need those. I'm gonna pick up this option, 1.5 mil, super cheap. Tommy Doyle, I'm gonna decline. Everybody else can go. Dansby Swanson, 16 mil. I'm gonna decline it. We have Nolan Gorman. What's Nolan Gorman looking like? It's going to... Yeah, Nor Nolan Gorman can get the this, this start at second base. And it saves us a little bit of money. And we can kind of use it maybe for some pitching. What do the Braves got? No, I don't want that trade. So, boom. Let's let's get into the offseason. I'll show you the guys that we signed in the draft. We have Yoko Yama. Looks pretty decent. I like those stats there. We've got Alanis. Decent. Trahan. And another Alanis. We got the Alanis brothers and Luther Daniel. So there it is. That's what we got going for us. We have still pretty decent money to spend. And looking at it, I'm thinking Kirilov goes to first. Maybe move him down a little bit. Nolan Gorman's going to hop in at second. And I mean, I'm still pretty happy with that. Now we just need to kind of fill this area up a little bit. I feel like this is the area that let us down in the postseason. So if we can get some bullpen help, we're solid. Alrighty, season three. We're gonna we're gonna start picking up the pace a little bit. I feel like I've been making it way too long already. So this is the team. We've got basically the same exact squad. No off season signings. Uh, yeah. No off season. Oh no, Yoan Lopez, Rule Five pick, and then Nick Goody was a free agent signing. I'll show you guys real quick. We've got some contract extensions as well. You can see Kyle Tucker. I think I gave him a seven year, six year contract. Keep him until he's 33. That's how math works. Yep. Glaber re-signed his contract as well. Kind of a similar situation to Kyle Tucker. And then Nick Anderson, I gave him a two-year deal. And Alcantara, I gave him a four-year deal. Yoan Lopez was a Rule 5 pick. And then I got some other guys here as well, just to kind of fill out this, the squad. So there they are, as well as Nick Goody. There he is. I would like to get another bullpen arm. I think that would help us out, but I'm not really like fussed if we don't and at the same time you look at our lineup i think this is a crazy stacked offensive lineup that could only get better so there we go there's the squad we can quickly take a quick peek at this part of this video you know the the whole franchise the new and exciting feature that was added this year Oof, look at look at it's so beautiful but um nieto's getting close to getting called up as well he looks actually pretty decent and yeah, you can see Sevy becomes a free agent. Cal Quantrill becomes a free agent soon. So we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But uh, I think I, I really like our team. I think we've put together a pretty good squad. So let's get into it. 98 and 64. We're taking on the winner of the wild card. So pretty good season, I would say. We're still ranked first. 
we're just we're just not getting super lucky when it comes to the World Series. Twice now we've been Olymp or we've lost a World Series, and one time we fell short. I think we were what the ALCS. So Gold Glove, we got Hank Aaron, AL Rookie of the Year, and an MVP for Kyle Tucker. I mean, Tucker and Trout looks decent. Seager's there. Okay, Degrom, Denilson Lamette. Okay, okay, Alcantara's there. Muncy, we got Ruiz. Ruiz with the batting title, really? And enough, three catchers? Three catchers? That never happens. Osuna, we got Edwin Diaz, Josh Young, and Nolan Gorman. Okay, so pitching. I saw high ERAs, which worries me. But, um, okay, so Chris improved 26. I did extend his contract till 2027. So, you know what? I, I kind of like that. I think he's going to be a decent arm for us. Brian Mata still developing, only 23. And actually, if you look at his attributes, they look pretty decent. So, I'm excited to see how he develops. Lopez kind of struggled. Tyler Wells didn't pitch at all, which means someone got sent down. And that person was Voth. God, I was hoping he would have done better. Those attributes make me think he would do well. Just, just not doing it, huh? We got one more year of arbitration for him. So, we'll probably see how it goes. Nick Goody struggled. Hate to see that. He struggled. Classe struggled. Man, come on. Nick Anderson was good though. And then when you look at our starters, what do we got going on here? Uh, I mean, like good and bad, like mixed, mixed, mixed reviews, you know? Like, I don't, I don't know. Who got sent down here? Let's see. Let's see. Brent Rooker, I think, got sent down. And Taylor Walls. Yeah. I can see why. I can see why. Connor Joe off the bench was fantastic. We've got Rio Ruiz, who off the bench was pretty good as well. Colton Kowser and then Carlos Perez. And then when we take a look at our starters, we got Nimmo still putting up great numbers. Chris Bryant in his contract here put up great numbers. Going up in rating. My thinking here is we're going to call up Nieto next year. He's going to play uh, second base for us. And then Nolan Gorman can move to third. And I feel like that way we can save money. And we can also just kind of work around it. We still have Edwin Rios. He becomes a free agent. 34 home runs. Maybe I keep him. Maybe I keep him. Kyle Tucker's been fantastic for us. Nolan Gorman, he's only going to improve. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, and then we got Glaber. Kirilov is slowly putting together a season. And then Pozo. I feel like these next couple seasons are going to be the seasons where I'm kind of iffy about the team. Just because we're starting to let some of the younger guys come in. One, because I want to save money as we're most likely going to get eliminated here. Oh, we win. Thank God. Next up, two straight losses. Three. I give up, dude. ALCS or World Series every single year and we lose. This, oh, the White Sox win the World Series. I, ca I can't. We're 0 for 4, man. 0 for 4. I'm not, wi I'm not doing it. The challenge is going to be a fail. I, I honestly thought we put together a really good team every single year. And we're just, we're just not, we're not doing it. I'm going to bring back Connor Joe one more year. Nick Goody can leave. Yeah, he wasn't good. Tyler Wells is not getting good. Perez, we'll keep him. He's a decent backup. And then I'm just, I'm going to let everybody go. How much does he want for a season? 14. He could probably give us one more year, right? Let's bump it up to like 13. If he takes, well, we'll go 14. If he takes it, perfect. If not, that's fine. We don't really have like the most money to work with. So we gotta be smart about it. He didn't take it. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it away. We have like no money at all. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to bring everybody back. Ooh, that's not, that's not good. Um, Yeah, I don't think I'm signing anybody. All right, let's start season five off where we're never going to win a World Series. And we're going to go for DJ Hurds, one of the top pitching prospects in the Cubs organization right now. Lefty reliever. We're going to trade Connor Joe, Carlos Perez, and Craig Doss. Craig Doss was someone that we, I'm pretty sure, drafted a few seasons back. Or I might have signed him in free agency because he was sitting there. The reason I did that was because I was, uh, I'm, I'm above budget. Um, so yeah, I need to, I need to make a couple, uh, make a couple moves, get rid of some, uh, contracts that I just don't need anymore. So yeah, that's, that's essentially what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get rid of some stuff that I just don't need. And I don't think I'm going to be able to sadly, I just, I might have to be a little bit over budget for this season, which sucks, but it's just what's going to have to happen. I've looked at our budget though. 
we should be okay going forward. Like, Severino's probably going to leave. I don't think I'm going to bring him back. Like, he's been good, but you know what? I feel like we've got some players in the farm system that can hop in. You know, like Chris Bubic can come up, or Bubic, whatever it is. He can come up and help us out. And I feel like we've got a lot of youngsters, like our shortstops. Like, we've got so many of these that I need to start trading away because it's, it's, it's just a waste to keep them in our farm system and not use them. And at the same time, might as well let them develop on another team. And then that way we can kind of keep some good players circulating through the league since after a while it just doesn't happen. So, or like good players are like non-existent. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So let's get through the off season. I'm not signing anybody. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the start of the year. So since I did the draft or the trade after I was able to select guys to a 40 man, I lost DJ hers. I trade for him and I lose him. So now I got to trade again and get him back, which I, I guess kind of works out kind of. Um, I did say I wanted to get rid of some of the players. Like I think Hunter Bishop can go. I think that's a guy that we're just not going to use. I'm going to give him a catcher as well. Now I can actually get my reliever that I wanted in the first place um we're running low on pitchers i didn't realize we were this low on pitchers so that's that's something i gotta keep an eye out for um let me see if there's any starters i can make a reliever just based on the fact that they have low what's it called stamina so we'll, we'll make this guy a reliever he had like what 64 stamina or something like that anybody else that maybe could do a job at that sure we can make him a reliever he might do well um, we'll make him a reliever and anybody else like with like decent potential that we could move let's see here ah oh, that might be good for now like Cal Quantrill but like he's been starting for us so we're okay Peter German I kind of want to give him a shot maybe next year maybe next year mm, maybe this year yeah this year Jose Ruiz can get sent down we'll call up Peter German and that's the squad let me show you all right, season five, this is kind of like a make or break year. I think after this season, we're going to start completely changing some things up. You know, like I'm I'm considering training Trout. I'm considering moving just basically anybody that doesn't do well, right? Like Tyler Maley might be on my chopping block. Nick Anderson's kind of on my chopping block too. <sighs> Man, I feel like Nick Anderson's going to fall off this year. I'm going to take my shot, though, because I, I got to win. I got to win. So this is the team. Let me show you the team. We've got Severino. We got to get Sixto up here. Alcantara, Quantro, Melee. We got... Actually, we'll flip those two, and we'll get Chris here, and then we'll flip these two. Lopez, Hers, Voth, German, Classe, and Anderson. And then you look at our lineup. This is what we're going to rock with for the season. A uh, lot of last year contracts. A lot of last year contracts or players that have like one or two years of arbitration that I, I would consider just letting walk. That way we have the money to work with. You guys can kind of see some prospects are starting to hit the point where they're running out of contract options, so I have to use them. And uh, yeah, there's that, that's happening too. So, And we've also got some prospects coming up through the farm system that I'm a little excited about. Michael Taglia, I just signed because he was sitting in free agency. So I thought, you know what, let's take a shot on him. Two-year club option. Let's see how it goes. So... Uh, that's the team. I, I, honestly, I don't feel good about it. This is like the first year where I'm like, man, I don't think we're making the post. Well, we'll make the postseason, but I don't think we're going to do well. You know what I mean? So let's see how it goes. So we won the division 90 and 72. Let me show you September. Wow, that was bad. September was really bad. So yeah, there's that. Uh, league leaders Severino had a really good season. And then Tucker did as well. Looking at awards, we got Gold Glove, Hank Aaron Award, and a Silver Slugger. Okay, Kyle Tucker has been killing it for us. And uh, that's kind of why I'm okay with letting Trout go in a season or two. Just because I feel like Kyle Tucker can be a similar offensive producing outfielder. And I feel like we could use the money to then invest it in a younger outfielder that can help us out. So, oh yeah, great. I, uh, you know, just half of our rotation got sent down. Love to see that. Just perfect yeah let's let's do that mid playoff run where we just send down half our rotation that makes perfect sense mlb please do that some more for me yoan lopez can stay down who else got sent down like half our offense is that what happened just half our offense got sent down because that's what it's looking like half our offense just got sent down and we're rocking an extra pitcher now like I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted sometimes by what MLB does 
I just I just don't get it. Um, so Tyler Maley was really good in this long relief spot for 16 mil though. I don't know if it's really worth it. I think he's a player I'm gonna look to trade. Ricky Vanasco was pretty decent. He's a guy that I need to get into the rotation. So that's kind of why I'm okay with letting some of these older pitchers go. Ruiz, we've got DJ Hers who was nasty. Voth was good. Peter German, there you go. Or Peter Herman. We've got Class A and then Nick Anderson. So I think this is a club option. I'm gonna decline it. And then we can move Class A here. And then we clearly have some decent bullpen arms that we can work with. Severino was great. He does become a free agent. Sixto is going down in rating. Hmm. We may just have to shake things up completely with the rotation. Like, we've got a couple younger guys that look decent, but I don't. We're, we, we might just have to clear house a little bit. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing what's going on here. Gorman got sent down. You know. It's an improvement though. So like that's what I'm looking for. He improved. Rio Ruiz got some time and he was okay. Nothing too crazy. There's no reason to send him down, which I I just don't understand this game sometimes, man. Like they just send down whoever they want and it just makes no sense at all. So Brett Beatty, Brett Beatty was up this year, but he only played in seven games. Can I send him down? So let's get Ruiz in. Let's get Gorman in. And Tuna can go down and also Brett Beatty boom okay team now let's figure this out what's going on with this squad so I think I had Gorman here and then this was Nieto all right Yerzy pretty bad Taglia was okay five mil I don't know if it's worth it Ruiz Kowser. let's see anything else man eh. I don't know I just felt like I, I just don't like the team we have right now I feel like we're just not getting enough production. Like, I feel like Kirloff should be doing more. Trout's still doing well. He is going down, though, so I'm thinking I'm going to try to flip him this offseason. Edwin Rios, I think we keep him. He's going to be expensive, but I think we keep him. Kyle Tucker's unbelievable. Gorman's getting better. Glaber's still putting in work. Nieto was a little bit of a disappointment, not going to lie. And then Pozo's pretty bad, so I'm probably going to let him walk. So... Like I said, I'm thinking I'm, I'm shaking things up this year. Hopefully, we can win a World Series as we get eliminated. I, I, what is that? 0 for 5? So, I have to win out. I have to win out or I fail the challenge. I failed the challenge. 100%. There's no shot I'm winning out. There just isn't. It, it's over. We've lost. Um, Let's see here. I'm going to decline this option. We're going to take this option. Oh, man. Is he going to want more than 20 mil? I don't even have money. Oh, we got to clear some money out. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to we gotta clear money. Clear money, clear money, clear money. Okay, I said I wanted Tyler Maley gone. What position could we use? We could use a catcher. Yeah, we could. Like, actually, Yerzy doesn't look too bad. Or Yerzy. It's probably Yerzy. I don't know why I'm saying Yerzy. Um, let's see here. Nimmo. Let's get a starter. Let's get a starter. You know what? If I can dump a crazy amount of money here and pick up someone who's already on a deal like corbin burns he's kind of holding his rating but he's going down max freed uh i don't like that walker bueller 31 how long is his contract six more years are you nuts no shot blake snell's got three years left on his deal i don't want that no not to show hey shane bieber five more years no three for jack flaherty's interesting that's a lot of money we just opened up. I might take that Jack Flaherty deal. That one, that one's intriguing. That one might actually get me invested in there. Syndergaard becomes a free agent at the end of the year. That, I can't trade for, Mike Trout and Tyler Maley can't get me Noah Syndergaard? Are you kidding me? That's so stupid. Um, <laughs> that's so dumb. That's so dumb. Um, I think that I think that's the move. I think uh who was it? It was I don't remember now. Who who was it? <laughs> who was it? It was uh let's 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 work our way back around. It was Jack Flaherty. Three more years of Jack Flaherty. We trade these two away. We open up a lot of money there. And then let me go ch take a look at like him. Alcantara's going down too, man. We got two more years of him. I might let Alcantara stay for one more year. The 85 mil. Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of Nick Anderson, too. And then let's bring in a reliever. 
who can I get? Super cheap deal. That's what I'm looking for. Super cheap deal. Let's see here. Biddle, no. Estevez, no. There's got to be somebody here. Crick, no. Bork, Loisiga. Loisiga, super cheap deal. How many innings? 49 innings. Looks decent. 31 years old. Does worry me a little bit, but let's take that. And then let's go with... Who can we trade? That I'm not going to use. Brett Beatty, I never see him do well i feel like i can use him in a different deal though save us some or like use that kind of somewhere else um i'm not using michelle baez and realistically i don't know if he's gonna be good uh that's really the only player i can like move right now huh unless i oh i can i can do this hold on let's go let me exercise this option and then i can trade him ha 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 all right so let me get that trade back all right ruiz and anderson get me low Siga. that gets us up to 93 mil that should give us a little bit of money to play with plus we've we, we've kind of gotten to the point where i feel like we're yeah we're, we're doing okay so we'll take this option that brings us down to what 90 mil i'm gonna decline this option i'm just not using him he actually looks kind of decent 32 years old you know what i'll take it quantrill um there we go 31 he's going down and like he's been good how much does he want i'm out 12 mil no no shot edwin rios 12 mil i'll do two year club option i feel like we can handle that we'll go 13 mil there if he doesn't take it then i'll just go somewhere else it's fine we'll, we'll get someone that's really good so what do we got here he didn't sign i need an outfielder I saw an outfielder that I want. Yep, I want him. Get in my team. Uh, seven years, backload it. Boom, there's that. And I'm gonna retract this. And what I'm gonna do is, Nolan Gorman's gonna play third. Nieto's gonna play second. And then we'll we'll, we'll put Jordan in left. Nimmo's in center. And then this is what, DH? We can find a DH easily. And we're gonna bring everybody back. We're good to go for next season. All right, season six, we're gonna start picking up some prospects. Raul Garcia for Jordy Barley, Tommy Parsons, and Brock Detheridge. Jordy Barley, I've had, I don't know how long, like the whole time. And then Detheridge, I think I signed after season two in free agency. We're gonna get Raul Gonzalez. Looks really good for an outfielder for the future. I need some of that. Let's get in. Let's uh, get him into the team. You've seen we uh, signed Jordan. We've got Colton Kowser still. Canario's developing very quickly. We've got uh, Will Robertson, who looks pretty decent too at 28. So like, I kind of like what we have going on here. I've moved a couple players around. Like Brady House is now a third baseman. I think I'm gonna trade Brett Beatty. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna trade Brett Beatty. I'm gonna trade him for, what do we need? I'm gonna give Kirloff, I'm gonna give him one more year. I'm hoping he pops off this season. Catcher, is there like a unbelievable young catcher that like I can trade for and that I don't have to worry about for the foreseeable future? Let's go like, it's like, I don't even care about potential. I'm more just like, let me see this contact versus righties and lefties. Let's see if there's one that's got like 70s for both and just mashes Ruiz. I'm down for Ruiz, becomes a free agent. Or Octavio Frazier, a young guy that we just can keep forever. Or Ruiz, who becomes a free agent. Am I still in? What's my budget looking like? 33 mil. Basically would replace Nimmo's contract. I don't know if that's something I can afford to do. I think the younger guy is probably the better option. So let's go to the Rockies right now. And let's get that, that catcher that they're, they're hiding in Octavio Frazier. And then what I'll do is, who did I say I was going to trade? Uh, Brady, no, Brett Beatty. That almost gets the, the deal done perfectly. Okay, perfect. Awesome. And then I'll just give you like PJ Higgins. No, what about Eloy Moya? And whoever else will get the deal done. Trevor Lane at 34 overall. There we go. There's a new catcher for us. I kind of like that. And I'm, I'm really just trying to get some of this dead wood that we have. Let's see. I, I was thinking about trading him, but I felt like, no, let's let's keep him. Any big deals? Any big deals? I need to see if I can extend this guy's contract. 
He doesn't want to sign a contract, huh? He wants a long-term deal. I'm not going to give him a long-term deal. How much does he want for like two years? I'll, I'm, ro I'm rocking two years. If not, I'll trade him right now. I'll, I'll get rid of him right now and I'll find a new, new outfielder. Let's see. Do we even have an outfielder that we can turn to this season? Not really. I might trade like him and Colton Kowser and see if we can just get like the best center fielder in the game right now. And who is who's that? Might be Elliot Ramos for the future, to be honest. On a cheap deal too. Does his contract go up? Uh okay. We gotta we gotta find someone. Someone's gotta have a really good. That actually didn't look too bad for Victor Robles. But there's gotta be somebody. Byron Buxton, no shot. Uh Mike Trout, no. Jason Dominguez. He's already been in the league for five years, though, so I'm afraid he's going to start to fall off just because that's what MLB The Show does with players. So who else can we get? Aaron Judge at 33. Little eh. Luis Robert. Cattell Marte. Contract expires next year. Ooh, Cattell Marte's contract expires next year. That's kind of nice. That That's kind of intriguing. I'm not going to lie. Adam Hazley too, but he's a free agent at the end of the season. There's got to be somebody, right? Acuna? He's going to... Can I get Acuna? And also, how much money is Acuna going to want? That's another... Ooh. I don't know. I got to find something. Elliot Ramos is the move. Nimmo and Canario. Boom. So we did lose our... Leadoff guy. Uh, who's going to be our new leadoff guy? Kyle Tucker? I don't, I don't like that. I, I don't. Um, hmm, we don't really have a leadoff guy, do we? That is not great. Not great. Not great. So 32 guys. All right, let's that's that's enough for moves. All right, this is what we got. Flaherty through the trade this offseason. Sixto, Bubich, Alcantara, Adonis Medina. I signed this offseason. I signed him and a couple other players. There's actually quite a few that I signed. Um, this guy was available. I don't know. Whatever. That was what? Like, not a big deal. We've got Waldachuk, Contreras, Austin Cox. Uh, base, all these pitchers. Yeah. I mean, you can see them all. Some are not great. He looks good for a right fielder, Hardesty. We got Jordan and then Adonis Medina. So a lot of like B potential players. I've also changed a couple players to reliever like uh, Velasco or Venasco. I think he could be a decent reliever. Um, I think I changed somebody else to a reliever, but I don't remember who. Maybe Emilio Vargas. And then we've got like 9,000 closers. <laughs> I just realized that. Um, so yeah, this is our pitching rotation. It looks good. I think we're doing pretty solid. And then we take a look at the lineup. I don't really want Ramos here, but I don't really know who else to put. <laughs> so we'll just have to rock with it like this. And then you can see Brady House got the call up too. So we'll, we'll start changing things up. But for season, what is this? Six. No World Series. I have to win out. I hope this is the team. All right. We won the division 102 and 60. I mean... Like, we've had consistently the best record in baseball, right? We've done really well. And I just feel like we've gotten super unlucky. <laughs> the one time out of the five years, we haven't made it to at least the ALCS. And I mean, I just feel like we're just... How have I not won a World Series? Like, that's really what I'm looking at. Kyle Tucker's killing it. We've got a crazy team. And I just feel like we've come up short, like, every single time. And it sucks. It sucks so much because the whole point of this challenge is win a World Series 10 times in 15 years. And I've bombed it. All right, so let's take a look. Let's see what we got going on here. I know Adonis Medina got sent down. I signed him to a super cheap deal. I probably will trade him. <laughs> or uh, maybe we try him again. Maybe let him develop in the farm system a couple seasons. But um, we'll see. We'll see what we can do with him. Like, we've got Rowenzi Contreras got lit up in 14 innings. We've got JT Jin. We've got DJ Hers, who got lit up the second half of the season, which sucks to see. Voth was good. Lopez was solid. German's, like, killing it. I don't think he's going to improve much more, which worries me. So I might just say, let's stash him in the farm system and then get somebody else. We'll see. But overall, I'm really happy with our bullpen. Looking at our starters, Flaherty was good. Sixto was fantastic in his contract year. 
<sighs> Bubich, though, we got to trade. Something and trade him and then just use some of the money that we're going to save from getting rid of him. Sign six, though. I think that's the move. But six, though, didn't really go up anymore. Hmm. Alcantara. Uh, I, we got it. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about him. I, I'll trade him. Keep six, though. Who knows? We got Brian Mata. We've got some pitchers down here. We've got some pitchers down here. It, it's, it's starting to get a little clustered. And um, someone got sent down. It was Nieto. Really? What was the stat line on him? Pretty bad, but he hit 26 home runs. I still have faith. He's only 22. He's going to improve. I have faith in him. I have faith 100%. So, shortstop for the postseason is going to be Antuna. That's okay. I mean, like... Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Um, if Nieto's struggling, just we'll, uh, we'll be all right. Somebody else get sent down too? Oh, Rooker. Okay, so let me let me figure out what's going on here. I need an outfielder. Kowser against lefties though. I feel like Ruiz and then flip those two is probably the best option. And then Antuna goes there. Okay, so team, oh, bench. Uh, let's see here. Backup catcher, eh. Real Ruiz though on the bench is killing it. He does become a free agent, though. I have a feeling he's going to want a lot of money, so I'm probably going to say no. Kowser's good. House, eh. Um, and then we'll, we'll we'll keep going. So Kirilov, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for right there. Logan Wyatt as a bench bat, solid. Jordan, solid, of course. Kyle Tucker's unbelievable. Ramos, there we go. I like seeing that. Gorman is getting better. He's getting better. That's what I'm looking for, right? Glaber's still killing it. And his stats are still going up. Antuna and then Yerzy might need to get that new catcher coming up here soon. But it's postseason time as we are. Boom. Come on, dude. Like, this team shouldn't be losing these games. Thank you. Oh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That works. Um, This needs to be Flaherty. So who, who did I say was pitching right here? Okay, so we need Flaherty. Uh, oh, man, this is... We'll, we'll try that. We'll try that. We'll try that. Okay, let's see how this goes. But didn't Alcantara just pitch one of these games? One of these games he pitched. Which one was it? He pitched... Okay, all right. We're, we should be okay now. All, all sorts of messed up. All right, Flaherty wins. Alcantara loses 4-19. Four, four Please don't do this to me. No, they're, they're, they're going to do this to me. They're really going to do this to me. Again? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You, you can't make this up, dude. You, you just can't. Like, what? And then, like, this game. Okay, cool. Whatever. Two losses is cool. And then we throw in Sixto. Sixto shouldn't lose me this game. And neither should Jack. It's it's rigged. It's rigged. It's rigged. I, I'm, I'm telling you, it's rigged. It's rigged. It's unreal. So the Indians won again. I'm telling you, it's coded for them to win. There's something in it. Because I'm looking at this team. It's good. But my team should have won. My team should have won. There's no reason why we shouldn't have won. No shot. Let me let me let me see what else we got here. What's what's the pitching looking like? I, we should have won. Cal Quantrill. You suck. Alright? I hate you. We no. The, I should have. I'm, I'm telling you. This is rigged. It's rigged. It's rigged. All right. Only trade I'm making this offseason is uh, Bubik, Alcantara, Medina for Allard. That's the that's the move because I'm trying to get some more pitching. All right. For these last few years, I'm really just going to go kind of quick, see if we can win a World Series or not, and then just kind of fly through it. So this is what we got going on. Flaherty, Sixto, Allard. I brought in Patino. There's, so there's that. We got Contreras. Gin or Jin? I, I got to look into that. Mata. And then we've got... Yokoyama who we drafted a while ago and I wish there was like a little tab that would like tell you what year he was like drafted or how you got him into the team you know something like that that way I don't have to constantly go over here and then have to search until I see his name right like uh, who who I don't remember when I drafted this guy where where is Yokoyama 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 like what Yokoyama 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 I don't even see there he is so I drafted him in 2023. There he is. Uh, so I wish there was a little easier way to find that. Loisiga and Class A signed him to an extension. 
Next up, lineup wise, I mean, this is what we're gonna be rocking with. It looks really, really good. The only person that I'm like slightly questionable about is him. Other than that, you can see we've got some, we got some pretty decent players in the farm system as well. And then when you look at our pitching staff, we've got some decent pitchers also. A lot of relievers. I need some starters to start to get into the team. Budget's super tight and it's going to be tight for the foreseeable future. I don't know what we're gonna do or if we're even gonna do anything, if we can even afford players, that's the big thing too. So yeah, that's the team. We'll see how it goes. Season seven, maybe we can win out. Another great season, 107 and 55. Like I'm putting up really good teams. I just can't win a World Series. Flaherty and Alvarez had a really good season. And then awards, we've got a Cy Young. That was it. Dylan Carlson, MVP, Corey C. Holy cow, the Pirates, okay. So even if we do make it to the World Series, we're probably going to lose to the Pirates. Brandon Nimmo with the Athletics. Fitch. What's Fitch looking like? Unbelievable. Holy cow. He looks insane. Um, and then we got Johnny Padden, Padin, and Tyler Callahan winning Rookie of the Year. Okay. Really quickly, pitching. What do we got going on here? Why is Steven or Zach Hack up? No, 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 no. They got to stop doing this. It's it's so annoying that they keep changing stuff up on me. All right. um, right. We'll just call up Mata, get rid of him, and then we'll, we'll leave it there. All right. So let's see what we got. JT struggled. Mata struggled. Hers. Oh, man. I'm, I, I can't catch a break sometimes for some of my pitchers. There. Yokoyama looks good. Loisiga's good. Class A, fantastic. Starters. Flaherty. Ooh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Mm, I don't like that. Don't like that either. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We could work with that one. And then the lineup. Let's see. Let's see. I'm probably going to. Let's see what his contract is like. I'm probably going to just have this guy be our backup. And then call up that guy that we traded for. Because he looks really good right now. Antuna. Kowser. Bench bat is probably the best one we have. Brady House kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie, I might trade Brady House, see if we can get him going on a different team. Kirilov's killing it, Wyatt's solid, Alvarez is going down, don't like to see that, but he put up really good numbers. Uh, same thing with Kyle Tucker, please don't start falling off now. Give me just at least, at least the rest of your contract, that's what I need. Elliot Ramos popped off, Gorman is starting to pop off, he becomes a free agent soon though, so I don't like that. Glaber's killing it, Nieto 31 home runs, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. Um, Jersey and then Kirilov again. All right, here we go. It is time to face the Rangers and we advance. So Roenzi Contreras, not happening, not happening. Uh, let's flip those two. All right, here we go. Next up against the Athletics. <sighs> World Series, baby. We're facing the Pirates though. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's happening. So may, may, maybe, maybe something good will happen. And we, no, oh, please, 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 six, no, please. What? I should, I shouldn't have let Contreras pitch this game. That one's on me. I shouldn't have let him, I should have went Flaherty. This one should have been Flaherty. This one should have been six, though. We're bringing everybody back. Let's run it back. Keep going. If I sign anybody, I sign somebody. All right, season eight, and uh, yeah, we're this guy picked up up uh, picked him up in the rule five draft, and I think everybody else is kind of the team that we've had. I feel like this is a good team. There's no reason why we shouldn't be winning. Octavio Frazier is getting his debut. I think he's gonna be good. He looks like a stud. And then everybody else is kind of there. So from now on, if you see a player in the team and I don't point it out through a trade or a free agent signing, I drafted them. That's that's what you'll start to see. But you guys can see these guys were lower rated players. I extended his contract for three years. I kind of am unsure about that because I'm starting to realize other players are starting to become free agents too. And uh, now I'm in a little bit of a pickle because I'm not going to have enough money to like re-sign Nolan Gorman if he starts to pop off at the age of like 27, 28, his prime. So we got to start picking and choosing who we keep in. Ooh, he becomes a free agent soon. A couple other guys become free agents soon. Oh, we might be okay. We might be okay. I think doesn't... 
like six to yeah these two become free agents when gorman becomes a free agent too so we might be okay i might also trade patino i'm not a huge fan of him unless he pops off this season so let's get into the regular season everything should be good to go yeah that's the squad let's get into it all right so we had to do a tiebreaker not i don't like that but 99 and 64 won the division Woo wee league leaders glaber torres jordan love it beautiful beautiful awards a gold glove and an mvp for jordan love it glaber glaber okay glaber glaber i like seeing that too julio rodriguez devers okay 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 lazardo seth corey Ooh, okay i'm starting to see dude this guy's gonna be nasty that guy's gonna be really good i gotta somehow get my hands on him and get him into the team okay i'm liking what i'm seeing i'm liking what i'm seeing let's see what we got oh yeah i'm clearing house on pitchers by the way our pitching was bad you guys can see the stats on the side um i'll probably go like allard over here but you guys can kind of see what we're going with uh 22 innings pitch there 44 for low Siga. he becomes a free agent so i'll probably let him go he's starting to go down yokoyama really good season last year this year gets roughed up a little bit but i mean look at those attributes he'll be fine cj carter was very good rule five pickup killed it and then class a is still doing pretty well so we've got these guys down here i'm thinking we just save the money and we keep hers and then we just we've got our bullpen sorted starters we'll just trade a bunch of people and we'll be good to go lineup i think we have the best lineup possible i mean look at this will robertson came up for who did he come up for or was he already up he might have already been up this guy i'm excited about though i think he's gonna be a home run hitter just absolutely mash but robertson came up he yeah, you know he yeah you know uh colton kowser's been really good off the bench for us brady house i'm thinking about trading him um it just depends on how nolan gorman does because brady house is what a year younger and i think he might be he might be a player that i just replace for nolan gorman because nolan gorman if i'm correct once we get to him was a little bit of a letdown so everybody else is doing fairly well nolan gorman picked it up a little bit 33 home runs okay not too bad but you can see his stats are going down and that's what worries me about him you know i might trade nolan gorman i feel like i get super unlucky with nolan gorman he never does well and brady house i think it's the move i think nolan gorman yep i think that's the move we trade nolan gorman maybe get a pitcher but let's get to the offseason now it's time boom boom we're gonna lose we're gonna lose i already know it we're gonna lose uh let's get our our top pitcher there flaherty please i need you here dang dude pitcher all right that's the focus this offseason pitching 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 that's that's what i'm looking for that's it that's all i'm gonna do just pitching so sanchez he can go i'm gonna decline this option venasco i haven't really given him a shot i'm gonna say yes to that we only have six mil in the bank so like um i'm gonna have to figure that out which is gonna be fairly easy we're just gonna go flaherty's been very good i'm 38 mil though he's gotta go he's gotta go i'm also who else did i say i was training gorman he's on arbitration so i gotta wait till the year starts patino's gotta go too so let's quickly move and find like a cheap ish pitcher like francisco morales nope singer no freed no maybe freed blazovich no pablo lopez maybe pablo lopez like a little back half of the rotation guy super cheap too okay we might come back to pablo lopez of the cardinals anybody else anybody else let's see here holloway no mm. i mean he doesn't look bad but ah, the contract's kind of gross there's got to be someone luis ill let's see nope goes up too much i gotta i gotta keep it cheap i gotta keep it super cheap there's just nobody that i'm i gotta find somebody i'll be back all right we're gonna do the pablo lopez deal nick uh nick luis patino it just he's not he's not doing it for me he's not doing it for me so this one this one i can take a, a little bit of contract but i'm gonna try to find like a contract that's like kind of towards the end so hmm not that one that one's just no not flaherty we just traded him max freed i don't uh brady singer how we doing not great but it's a super cheap deal he had a good year last year do i take the chance i just don't feel like it's worth it griffin canning but 
God, the contract's still kind of gross too. You know what? Let's try this. Kobe Aller's not been good for us. Boom. And that opens up so much money. And now we can actually, we can sign an ace now, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to try to sign an ace and we're good to go for next season. All right, season nine, we're going to get Michael McGreevy. I forgot who drafted him in real life, but he um he looks pretty decent. Contracts can be super cheap for the next couple seasons. So we're going to make this deal right here. And now I got to clean this up because this is a mess. But outside of that, that's really the only move. All right, I'm going to get William Bravo of the Diamondbacks. Now I'm done. 100%. And he slots in right there. So you guys can kind of see this is what we're rocking with. A lot of guys are starting to come up through the system. We've got our pitchers. Kind of good, but this is this is the good spot. Um, who, third base, Brady House, perfect. There it is. There it is. There it is. He is already in, so we'll go second base. We'll swap these two around, unless we got someone that matches lefties, which we don't. So Brady House goes here, and I feel like that's good. I think we need to call up one player, so that's going to... Uh, our bench is kind of gross, like not good. Let's call this guy up. Let's call that guy up. So there it is. There it is. I feel like that's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, this team looks really good. I like it a lot. I feel like we should uh, absolutely destroy everybody. Everybody and anybody. Yeah. This team's insane. I like it a lot. What is this, season nine? I got to at least win one World Series, right? 110 and 52. Like, it, it, it's there. The win is... It's got to come eventually. Glaber, oh my. Insane season. 57 home runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Award. Uh, Delivery Man of the Year. Hank Aaron Award. MVP. Silver Slugger. Triple Crown. It's been a while since someone won a Triple Crown. Glaber, Torres, Edwin Rios. Been kind of good since we let him go. Okay. 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 And anything else? Anything else at all? Class A, he does become a free agent. I was really worried that he was going to fall off. I'll probably try to re-sign him for sure. Really? 36 years old. I just had to wait till he was 36 to be good. That's wild. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, gosh. Okay. Bravo got sent down, even though he had a pretty decent season. Same thing with JT. JT was bad. We'll leave JT down. We'll, uh, we'll leave JT down. But Bravo's got to come back, and we'll send down... Doll quest for now for now we'll see what we do later so Contreras where is he where is he where, who do we just call up why is I guess we go like that and then we'll put Cox up here someone else got sat down too Bauer had a really good season get back in the team what what is going on here let's get Bauer back in the team and who was not? Gleason was not. And I mean, he doesn't look bad, but we got to go with our best pitchers. So let's get this going. All right. Vanasco, how did you do? Ooh, ooh. I like that, Ricky Vanasco. I didn't give you a shot for three years. What do you do? You come in and you show you deserve more time. Uh, Austin Cox didn't pitch at all. Neither did he. Much better from Yokoyama. Like to see that. Perfect. Hers back on track. Carter's doing well. Bauer, Class A. I mean, that's... I can't ask for more from the bullpen. That's insane. Morales, how'd you do? Pretty good. Super cheap, too. McGreevy, okay. I mean, I expect better things. Bravo was all right. Mata, and then Contreras. You know what? I like it. I like it. Let's go like... Let's go like that. Let's go like that. All right, lineup-wise, I don't think anybody was sent down. What do we have? Robertson's killing it off the bench still. Kowser, same thing. Herbert, the backup catcher, is like whatever. Not really that good. So let's focus on this stuff. Kirilov's going down after I just gave him an extension, dude. Come on. Don't do that to me. But at least he's still putting up great numbers. Same thing with Logan Wyatt. For a mill, he's killing it. Almost 40 home runs. Insane. Jordan, same thing. He's killing it. Kyle Tucker's still hitting bombs. Glaber's unbelievable. Brady House. I'll give you one more season. One more season. That's what we're going to do. Ramos is putting up really good numbers. And there we go, Nieto. Almost 40 home runs. This guy is unbelievable at 25. Frazier's still getting on base at a decent level. I like this team. I like this team a lot. This is a, this is a good team. I got a one World Series. That's all I ask. Just one. 
at least at least one right like is that too much to ask is that too much to ask is it we're in the world series taking on the pirates morales is up and we lose our first two so we know what that means I, I already know what it means. We're, we lost. It's it's over. Uh, it should not be Bravo. It should be Morales, then McGreevy, and maybe Contreras. We'll see. I, I mean, we already know what's happening, right? Season 10, and uh, I'm not going to lie, pretty defeated. Pretty defeated. So this is our team. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's just players have been getting moved up and moved up and moved up from the farm system. And then offensively, I lost Kyle Tucker. I decided not to sign him for 31 mil. I tried to get him a little bit cheaper at free agency. Instead, he signed like an eight-year deal with the Mets. So I was like, no, I'll get Corey Seager instead. He can play DH for us. And then we'll just um, kind of shift a couple players around. Maybe Logan Wyatt to first. And Kirilov at the age of 32 can move to the right <laughs> to, to right field. And then we still got these two guys who can come off the bench and help us out too. So overall, I'm still really happy with the team. I mean, we're ranked first doesn't matter we've been ranked first like every season so far and haven't won so yeah season 10 let's do it all right so 99 and 63 so again we won the division taking on the winner of the wild card it's kind of been like rinse and repeat every single season and like it's it's the same story every single time league leaders class a with saves and then bravo with innings pitched and then Corey seager and glaber torres combined for a pretty good offensive season delivery man of the year hank aaron award mvp for seager at the age of like he's like 35 36 yeah 35 he killed it all right love to see that love it casted a little late blooming for him love to see that too all right so i don't know oh man i'm so like if i win that'd be awesome is it gonna happen probably not like i'm i'm gonna I'm be honest we're probably not gonna win who was sent down bauer once again decent season who did they call up austin cox i mean maybe i mean possibly that could be okay you know what i mean like ah. let's see let's see what we got going here not great not great i don't I, oh, ooh, yoko yama holy cow insane gleason's really good bullpen I'm not gonna lie, bullpen was kind of nasty. Bullpen was kind of nasty. Starters, like why do we have this guy over here? Like he shouldn't be there. That's not even a starter, that's a reliever. Let's see, Brian Mata was garbage. I think I can call him up, right? Yeah, I can call him up and then we'll, we'll send down Padilla. And they also called up Austin Cox and instead, who was sent down, Bauer? No, get Bauer back in the team. Get Bauer back in the team. Take out Cox, and there we go. We'll put Jin, hers. I hate that this happens. Uh, Bauer over here, and then, boom, flip those two. We should be good going forward, I believe. Let me flip those two, put him here, I, I guess. I don't know. Lineup-wise, we should be just good to go. Let's see, Kowser was fantastic off the bench. Probably should have been starting, not gonna lie, but it is what it is. Someone got sent down, it was... I don't know, I don't know. G Gonzalez, that's who got sent down, not great. Okay, Kirilov, still doing well. Love to see it, becomes a free agent next year, but you know what, that's fine. Glaber, killed it. Logan Wyatt, still doing really well. I mean, offensively, we're great. Brady House finally popped off. Elliot Ramos is still putting up great numbers. Nieto, Frazier. Where was Sieg? Oh, that's the no DH lineup. I was like, where's Seeger? Yeah, I mean, unreal. Unreal. Killed it. Like, all right, let's 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 see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right, one, two, three. Perfect. We're not going to go Contreras, though. We're going to go McGreevy, Bravo, Morales, then Contreras. One. All right, we're in the World Series. Back to the top of the rotation. I, I just, I feel a loss coming. Like, I'm done. I, I can't, I can't do it anymore. Like, I, I, I honestly, that, that was my, what, one, two, three for pitchers for this World Series? One, two, three, four. I mean, I, 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 
I, I, I'm defeated. I completely accept defeat on the Yogi Berra challenge. I'm gonna have to try it again though. I can't, I can't beat that, that bad. 0 for 10? And we, I, I gotta see something, hold on. I gotta see something. How many World Series was I in? One, two, th one, two, three out of the five here. And then I made the World Series at least half the time. At least. And the ALCS, what? Eight times out of 10? That's, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm defeated. Uh, I, I can't do it. I can't go for five more seasons. I can't take the agony of losing. I can't believe I failed the challenge that bad. That's how bad it was. Wow. 0 for 10. <sighs> there it is. The Yogi Bear challenge completely failed. Whew. That was terrible. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. You saw me fail. Maybe you liked that. Maybe you would have liked it if I would have won. But I just couldn't. It, I, I don't know what happened. I just couldn't do it. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. Of course, in the comment section. Let me know if you guys want to see this again. I'll definitely try it again. Maybe in a little bit. I'm not obviously not going to go back to back with this. But this is definitely a challenge. I can't just go 0 for 10 and then be like, yeah, let me leave it there. I got to try this one again in the future. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.